Well, we're on the Provo River below Deer Creek Dam. It's the end of March, very end of March. And we're going to try to catch some trout here and with the uh, nymphs deep. My friend Dan is working a bounce rig here in the fast water. Got a fish on. The water's a little higher than it usually is this time of year. We're not, we're not, we, we're having a bit of a wet year. There it is, a nice brown trout. Release that one. That's a good fish. So we're using sawbug flies, and that's that is a that's a live sawbug. Not very big, but they're a lot of nutrition. The, the trout really like them. They live right on the bottom. Have to fish on the bottom with them. Now I've gone out there to see what I can do. I'm casting. Notice I'm not going back and forth behind me. I'm drifting the fly down, and I'm I'm uh, using a resistance cast. Load the rod and just and just back and forth a little bit and flex it up, and there it goes. Don't want to go behind you because you'll tangle up in the trees or you'll tangle up your rig. That's the little indicator float, the thing of a bobber that we use to, if it goes down, we have to get them. It's a little bit difficult to cast when you're on this side of the stream because you have to cast on the back end, but it works. Oh, there he is. Got one on. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy looking at the cameraman. Nice I can see what you catch him on. <laughs> you want to guess inches. what I caught him on? Sawbug. Of course I caught him on a sawbug. Well. This is a sawbug and the fly we used to imitate it. You notice that it's an impressionistic fly. It's about the same size, about the same color. Fish really like them. Okay, now let's, let's release him. 